Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Esther. Welcome to my channel, which is called My Money Matters. This channel is to make me accountable with my budget and my hope is to inspire others to see the benefit of saving and cash stuffing. Today is going to be my first ever Budget With Me video. I've not done this before. I don't know. I'm just going to see how this goes. If you guys enjoy it, I'll keep doing it. But uh, I can imagine it could be a little bit long winded. <laughs> Um, I'm desperate to, to fill in my new budget sheets. I created a weekly uh, budget sheet. Now I know there's only four slots and we sometimes get five weeks in a month but I'm going to cross that bridge when it comes to it. We've had a five week month this week and I've just not restuffed it this last week so that's why I've not had a cash stuffing video this week. So I'm hoping that I'll have enough rollover come that week five to keep going. We shall see. The other thing I'm going to fill out is my long term um, and uh, hyper jar and bill payment. So more the long term and bills and etc. So I've already written in my categories to save time, but I'm just going to talk through what I'm hoping to cash stuff these with. And then I can use my sheets for the actual cash stuffing. So I've abbreviated some of the headings. The... Um, the first a lot of categories are things that I'm going to stuff in my Safiano cash wallets, which they could just go straight in my purse, basically. So pennies is pennies for my pocket, and I'm going to add £20 to that. Now, uh, I don't know whose idea it was to write in fountain pen, but I probably should be writing in erasable pen right now. Um, and I probably will do in future, or maybe just rewrite this sheet <laughs> if I make a mistake. Miscellaneous is getting... Um, the usual five. It's amazing how quickly that miscellaneous goes. Sometimes I wonder what I spend it on. Um, charitable causes. This is money for me to spend at the charity shops. This is getting 15. I did have a fiver left over, but I decided to um, take everything out and start with a blank slate. So I'm going to put that into some of my um, change, my leftover challenge money. Family, friends, food and film. So this is going out, this is nights in, nights out, social, that type of thing. And that is going to get um, a £15. Nearly put the wrong one in there. Okay, um, giving gifts and celebrating celebrations is for birthdays, gifts, etc. Uh, but to have cash... Uh, to hand so this might mean some cash in somebody's envelope that type of thing bargain booty buys so I'm not expecting to go to any car boot sales but when and if I do it's quite nice to have a chunk of cash so I'm going to inject some money in now uh, while I can into bargain booty buys buying for the boys this is going towards my boys birthdays so we've just had a birthday so this is for the next birthday in March this writing is atrocious there, but it says <laughs> hair today. Uh, this is my hair today gone tomorrow um, envelope. And I'm going to actually, again, inject this with a bit more. I'm going to put a tenner in here. Um, I'm planning on having my hair cut soon, but it should be its usual. I think it's about £15 because the lady comes to my house. She's a long standing hairdresser. But I just thought if I put in another tenner and it costs more, then I've got backup money. But also, I've got um, enough there for next time as well. So, because I've upped my hours at work, I'm earning a bit more money. So, I thought I'd just do a bit of a cash injection in most of my t categories. Holiday is going to get, I'm just going to double check that, I think it's £30. I suddenly thought, hold on a minute, half term is in October and that's next month and I'm probably not going to get a chance to cash stuff it. So I thought, again, I'd give that a nice £30 injection. Saving for secondary school is going to get 10 I think that envelope is now empty. Um, smile for the dentist is getting nothing nada and take care is going to get five pounds and petty cash challenge is going to get 10 and that's for our pet hamster winston now with the balance here's a question 
I didn't know whether to put the balance in now because it would just be exactly the same as that or whether to have this as the balance at the end of the week which would make more sense before I'm restuffing. I guess that's what it's for. <laughs> or whether I need, yeah, I'm guessing, right, I'm gonna leave that anyway. So I managed to get through that without making mistakes. So church contribution is gonna get some money, that's my tithe, sorry, yeah, church is tithe, and then contribution is um, some money I give towards just the household funds and other bits that need spending. So I like to keep those two private. I'll add those in afterwards. My e-phone bill, um, although it's gone down, I'm going to put um, ten pounds in this to keep it ticking over. It's eight at the moment because I've changed over to SIM only. Best thing I've done in a long time. Um, but I thought if I just keep the leftover in there, hopefully it'll get to a point where I won't need to stuff that particular envelope. Um, HMRC always gets £50 a month for the Help to Save scheme and my NHS prescription always gets 11 So these tend to get stuffed into the hyper jar, but I like to have it on here and then write down what day it's due out. So long term, long term sinking funds are going to go to next. Anything towards our anniversary. So we are going to go away for our anniversary for an evening. And I just wanted to put maybe another tenner in here. If there's any left over, I was thinking, what should I do with it? Should I carry on for um, another anniversary or should I just redistribute it into like giving gifts and celebrating celebrations, which I think I might do, but I'll think about it. It just depends what's left over. I'm expecting a few meals out and I've got some money in a hyper jar for that as well. But I just thought while I can, before we go away, I'm going to pop a little bit more in there. Now, Christmas, I'm going to cash inject £50 because I've spent quite a lot this year already for Christmas and I still got more things to buy so I'm hoping that if I start now I will be really ahead of myself or kind of on course for next year I'm amazed how much Christmas is actually costing um, I'm trying not to let it cost too much but it's adding up and I'm just aware there's more things that I or more people I should say that I need to buy for so yes that's Christmas so funding for future tends to be, this is going towards pension money, yeah, £20. So I've got my HMRC going in and I've got some funding for the future um, also. So I'm hoping that money will go into savings, stroke pension. Emergency money is just going to get its usual fiver, I think. And... Month ahead money, this is going to get a tenner. So the plan with month ahead was if I was out of work, I would have a bit of a cushion. But now I've got work, I'm OK. So I'm thinking whether to use this for a cash stuffing. But I just thought, you know what, there's no harm in just keep stuffing that envelope. So there you go. Saving for storage is such a drawn out thing. I feel like I've been saving for storage for the whole year. So rather than a tenner, I'm just going to pop in £20 because I really want to get on and do some sorting. But I do also want enough money to buy all the boxes at once. Cash challenges I'm going to leave for now um, until I get some money to pay in there. And we're going to go over to our hyper jar money in the hope that you can see everything that's been on the screen. Okay, so again, I've already actually got some money in hyper jar, but I'm hoping I'll come to the point where I won't have to stuff it as much. So the joy of cash stuffing is you can just, you know, go with the flow, change it according to your budget and work with what you've got. And I'm figuring if I could stuff it a little bit more now, I've got this cushion, which is great um, to be able to work with. I know not everyone can do that, but that's my situation at the moment. I was so. trying to figure out how to do my hyper jar 
and do it as, as a screen record. But I thought actually visually it's quite nice to, I don't know, it was just, it worked out easier if I did it on my iPad. So I know it feels a bit backwards. And I even unstuffed a couple of the envelopes that I just stuffed or jars. Okay, I'm going to start again. So Amazon is going to get £20. Now, Hyperjar have changed it slightly, so everything's a bit more long winded. Things don't automatically come from the wallets, which they did last time. So you might just find this is a bit of a slower process and I'll speed it up where I can or when I can. So I've got a bit of an order number left in the anniversary jar and um, I just wanted to round this up to a nice round number. Now there's still quite a bit in here. I'm hoping it's not all going to, going to get spent, uh, but it's there if we need it. Oh, my birthday's not getting stuffed. That's just some birthday money I've got left over and I wanted it online so that I can spend. Chiropractor is getting its usual 30. I don't have an appointment for a little while yet, but I know that now that that's going to be in there ready. Christmas is going to get 20. I've been spending out of this one. I just want to get it up a little bit more because I've still got some more things to get. eBay, I've not really spent out of this month a lot, but I'm going to top this up to 13. That gives it a nice rounded off at 30 pounds in the balance. Family, friends, food and film is going to get 10. I'm not planning necessarily on going out, but sometimes things come up. So it's quite nice just to have that there for those just in case moments. Gifts is completely washed out and this is going to get £30. The target for my glasses is 70 so I am one month away <laughs> from getting that sorted. So I'll be pleased when I can delete that jar and get rid of that one. HMRC is getting its usual 50. This is for the Help to Save scheme. It's worth looking it up. Not everybody's eligible, but if you're under a certain amount uh, threshold wise, then it's definitely worth looking into. Holiday, it's still got 60 quid in it. That's good going, isn't it? So this is for any of the school holidays and I tend to spend out of there rather than out of any of the other jars. What have I pressed? Am I doing it right? <laughs> Trying to talk and multitask here. Okay. Oh, now why has that got money in it? That's interesting. That shouldn't have any money in it. Oh, well, we'll ignore that. That's for my in-laws anniversary. But uh, I will look into that afterwards. My allowance. Hmm. I don't like odd numbers. <laughs> I'm going to add in 20 in here. I need to scrounge a pound from somewhere. <laughs> I might do it from my penny jar, just so I've got a round number. No, don't do that, Esther. Just stick with the stick with the programme. <laughs> um, my NHS prescription is getting 11. It costs £10 something, so I just always round this up um, and just put the pennies into my saving jar. So I've already done some rounding up already and the penny savings got £4.8 in it. So it's amazing how just by rounding off the last um, couple of digits on all the pennies off your jars, how it can accumulate. Ring resize is going to get 10 Why have I got 10 in my jar? Oh, this is annoying. You work it through and then you end up with money left over. So, but okay, I didn't add anything into the phone bill. So that's all right. That wasn't too bad. Nice and easy. Cheesy. Good. Beautiful. There we go. Hyperjar, all stuffed, nothing left in the wallet. And we are good to go. Excelente. Thank you. Right, I'll be back with a proper, I say proper cash stuff. It's still cash stuffing. It still counts as cash stuffing, doesn't it? Uh, but 
you know, I just find this bit not as exciting, shall we say. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching along. And don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notifications. I do love reading your comments. Please be sure to leave me one and I'll get back to you when I can. Have a fantastic day. Take care and God bless. Happy cash stuffing. It really works, this system, can I just say. Catch you next time on My Money Matters. Bye.